Radio. Just going to do an update. Done a few more mods since uh, my last video. Still got the usual beer. Might just run through what I've been doing and what's uh, been done on total on the bike now. It's been fun, but been bloody expensive. So I'm just going to re reinsure it now for a bit more money. But so start from the back. I've got the uh, carbon fiber fender eliminator LEDs as well. As you can see, I've got the uh, red reflectors. Saves a big ass reflector in the middle and it looks a bit bit small and looks a bit neater. I've got the uh, dusky or smoky lights, uh, light covers or whatever. So they're pretty good. Uh, the two brothers series exhaust that you already know about. The uh, carbon fiber hugger as well. Uh, we've now got get dusty from the paint shop. We've now got um, aftermarket foot pegs here as well. Um, carbon fiber heel guards. Custom seat. Still bloody comfortable. Makes a big difference. I've got the uh, carbon fiber. Whatever they're bloody called. I've got no idea. That's where you lift your tire up on the uh, bike stand knobby things anyway carbon fiber belly pan there sorry the bike needs a bit of a wash um, I've got a gold cap inside I'm putting a gold oil cap on in a minute uh, under here K and n air filter a uh, a uh, quick shifter on this side nice quick shifter Woolwich uh, it's got a Woolwich race pack, it's uh, de-restricted, it's got a custom tune, it's pushing about 206 horsepower now. Really opens up the bike. Um, clutchless gears up, up's pretty good when you want to get up it. Uh, carbon fibre knobbies, um, aftermarket levers as well, um, gold covers. Same on this one. Um, I've got some red bolts coming for the surround of the actual petrol cap. I've got a ram mount. That is friggin' awesome, that thing. As you can see, I've wired in a 12 volt USB port there. So I'm going to stick the phone in there. And off she goes. Um, I've also got, you can't really see it too much in daylight, but there's a little switch here you need to flick her on. And you got, you can see through in here, there's, um, Red LEDs, which is uh, decently hard to see, but not too much you can do about it. Lights up the bike very well. I like it. Uh, crappy, cheap ass, do it when you're drunk, carbon fiber 3M across there. Um, as you can see, yeah, the paint job, which is only a few hours old. Bought that baby this afternoon, picked it up. It's a uh, kind of Dragon's head, flames, needs a bit of a wash, but it's a custom airbrush job. I'll put the link in the uh, comment section. Very good job by Damo. Um, yeah, I'll write up a bit about him on his uh, Facebook tonight. My Facebook, he's a very good operator, top bloke. Uh, and it really sets a bike off. I wanted to keep the Japanese sort of thing because it had flames on the bottom there. I wanted to keep it red. And, um, Keep the dragon being Japanese, keep a dragon sort of theme on there. But um, it looks really, really nice. And I've already had a few people on the way home yelling at, yelling at me out of cars and giving me the thumbs up. And it's good. It's money well worthwhile spending uh, if you want a unique bike. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I've got a, um, a couple of fork guards, which I'll put on tonight too inside. Comes out here and stops, you, stops potential damage at the front of the bike if you do lay it over. Um, I've got the headlights now. They're the um, halo lights. So you run that bastard up. Looks mean. So you can definitely. 
obviously uh, tell a difference there and sets the bike off big time. But um, apart from that, there's a few more things coming in the mail, but that's basically the bulk of it. Um, if anyone wants to know where to get any of this stuff, you know, even right down to these bolts, um, give me a yell where to get all the, all the um, LED LED um, bulbs and everything from. Just give me a yell and they'll help you out. But that's the bike. Now to sit back and enjoy it. You all guys, have a good, good night or evening wherever you are and uh, catch you later.